Good morning, everyone. This is Royce Miller. Come back at you with yet another Let's Try. And today on the docket, we have ba -da -ba -ba, Subway Eat Fresh. I'm going to level with you guys. I'm in pretty low energy since hearing about my cat getting put down. Uh, you know, I wanted to record the move more, but, like, being on camera is a bit of a chore sometimes. Well, I mean, because, one, I gotta set up. Two, I gotta perform, you know. It's hard talking while you're working. And also, it's just been getting up the gumption to do it. Like, I still need to clean this room. It's, you know, it's like everything I... Everything that I was... Everything that I did put more and more stuff on the ground. It's weird. <sighs> anyway. Um, this will either be the last or second to last video I record in the old apartment, probably, because, um, oh my goodness, I don't have a fast food fade for Saturday. I gotta record that. Uh, what am I trying to say? Oh. Um. The other one that I have an idea on what to do is something that I already have the stuff for. Uh, it might be my third to last one. I can get my button gear, but we'll see. I still have cleaning to do, and that takes precedent. But we're going to take a brief break from that as we try Subway's new footlong sidekicks. I got the cookie, and I got the... And I got the pretzel. I tried to get the churro. Both places that I went to were out. I got these from just two separate places. These are such popular items that it's literally hard getting your hands on them. And let's try the savory one first. I do like the savory thing. Now the subway I got it from did not have uh, cheese. The one at the Walmart did, and I probably should have gotten the print one from the Walmart because, you know, it's also got the little snack court area with the stuff. Ooh! That is an interesting texture. This is not a texture of a pretzel I've ever seen before. Okay. Kind of twist and pull. Well, maybe it is the same texture, it's just dry. Yeah, it's dry. That's burnt. You hear that? Now, I got to do the process for this at, um, the Walmart location. Ooh, that was crusty. So similar to their breads, these are pre-made doughs that they pop in their microwave oven. Or I guess it's more similar to their uh well they it's similar to their um cheap to their like cold meats that are supposed to be warm, like the Philly steak and the rotisserie chicken. They pop it in their toaster oven for about a half a minute, and that cooks them, or at least heats them up. Now, man, that I 
that is one of the crustiest pretzels I've ever had. Like, normally I'm all for uh, breadsticks, but, and like, I love Subway, but this is a bad one. Now, here's the catch-22. Is it because, is it because of the, is it because of, is it a design flaw that's why it's bad, or did they just accidentally overcook it? I was actually pretty impressed by the price point of the pretzel and churro. The churro's a dollar, the pretzel's two dollars. Or was it two and three? I can't, I'd have to look it up. Because I had ordered online the churro, they uh, replaced it for me with Three cookies, and I just got oatmeal raisins. I like the, I like their oatmeal raisins. They're really good. People diss the oatmeal raisin, but like, and I mean in general, but like, it's a good cookie. As for this nugget, um, I hope you guys realized I said nugget like a chicken nugget, because I just realized that with how much I slur my words sometimes, that came off as a different kind of slur, as opposed to, you know, it mispronouncing it. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I'm tired. There's so many things that could have gone wrong with this. The dough became too dry. Or, well, you know, the, uh, the pre-made pretzel became too dry in the fridge. They overcooked it. They, you know, it sat out too much. Subway, Subway screwed up with what they were supposed to do with it. But let's go for the cookie. Everyone likes the Subway cookies. Even if you don't like their sandwich, you probably have a decent, a decent enjoyment of their cookies. It comes in a little cake. And like this. It's still warm too. That's impressive. It was not a short commute home. Plus I parked on the other side of Walmart because I had to get a cash order for for my uh because you know I want the first down payment and and money order. Which I I never got. Like I have a bank account. I think it's cooled down enough I can just eat it with my hands. It's a different consistency than their cookies. It's very cakey. Um, it kind of has the thicker consistency of like a snack cake 
where it's had a lot of preservatives in it. Toward the middle, you can kind of see more of what they were doing. The middle part has sort of a fudgy, almost pie filling like consistency. Very buttery. I am curious though, was this meant to be uh, shared or was this meant for a single person? Because like, this feels like too much for one person. I'm having trouble and I'm not even halfway finished yet. Maybe I'll save the rest for tonight. I could definitely see this as a um meal for two. I'm going to go into a coma if I finish just now. I gotta get ready for bed. You all have a good one. This is Royce Miller. I'm out of here.